Sports Talk, 1080, the team Orlando's Tuck and O'Neill. Uh, with Mike Tuck, I'm Jerry O'Neill. We have decided to talk a little bit about NFL quarterbacks. One, let's be honest, Peyton Manning, maybe on uh, his way out the door. And another, Johnny Menzel, the former Heisman Trophy winner, now going to get first team reps and starts planned for the rest of the season at Cleveland, right? One starting and one's finishing. And I, I think with Manziel, it's a weird story because it seems like this isn't Mike Pettin's choice as much as it is the front office's choice. Right. Um, he did acknowledge how well uh, the Manziel played last week against Pittsburgh. It'll be uh, interesting to see if he plays poorly, if they do decide to go back the other direction. It, it's tough, I think, always to go back from the rookie to the veteran um, in well, this kind of a case, especially if you're not committed to him, and I say rookie, but second-year guy, here, here's being the, the long-term yeah. solution. Well, here's the thing. I, I tend to agree with you. I don't know, but I tend to agree with you, and I believe it's played out this way. The ownership of Cleveland has said, Mike, we're not going to can you at the end of this year, okay? But we got to find out whether this kid can play. Uh, Josh McCown is not the long-term answer for Cleveland Browns football. we got to find out if the guy we invested, albeit a later first-round pick, can play. If he can't, then we got to decide what we're going to do with that position. But we can't keep wondering. we got to find that out. So that, I think, is the storyline of Cleveland. But I do believe, you know, Patton is sitting there going, look, I'm trying to win football games. I'm trying to go with the best guy available. And the ownership is saying, we know that. You're our head football coach. Let's see if this kid can play. Your job is not on the line. The decision doesn't happen now, though, unless Manziel plays well last week. If Manziel doesn't play well, then they go back to McCown. I don't even think they're having the discussion, but I think he's finally played well enough that he can feel comfortable. We can win. We can win a football game with him at quarterback. Yeah, let's see if the kid can play. I mean, he needs more reps, and uh, as long as Petten is secure that it's not going to cost me my job if we, you know, don't win again and play competitive, but this kid gets a better chance. So that's that story. The other is Peyton Manning, and what I watched the other day, obviously, I don't think there's much doubt that he's suffering and injured. Uh, and that he is, is struggling mightily. Gary Kubiak made the wrong decision allowing him to play last week. I don't think there's any doubt about that. My God, it doesn't take you know a, a rocket scientist to realize as you're watching the game unfold that he's not fit, uh, and he's costing his team a football game. Uh, and I th- I'd like to think Peyton's mature enough and man enough to agree with that, whether it's behind closed doors, but if you're not healthy... I, I don't buy this sometimes where you say, well, 80% of this guy is better than the next guy. I don't buy that. And especially with what we saw the other day, it wasn't anywhere near 80%. Well, I'll buy that all day long. I, I would buy that Peyton Manning at 80% is better than 125% of Brock Osweiler, but I don't think we saw 80% of Peyton Manning. We probably saw closer to 50% of Peyton Manning. I don't think Osweiler is going to take the job because I don't think he's any good. So for those that are suggesting Peyton should just hang it up and quit and now, you base that I think on on what? Based on his college career, I didn't think he was okay. that good Let's in see, college several and, years ago, yeah, wasn't it? Right, and I don't think he's going to be any good now. I, I'm not. Saying I'm just he, telling you what I think, and I don't think he's going to be any good. I, so I do think that this team was seven and zero with Peyton Manning healthy, not playing well, but healthy. If Peyton Manning can get healthy in a couple weeks, it's going to be his job when he comes back. Right. Period. Yeah, For I those agree. suggesting it's it, just hang it up now, I think it's ridiculous. No, that is ridiculous. And the end of career thing, look, we're not going to remember this about Peyton Manning 20 years from now. Just not. We It might come up in one of these kind of unique conversations, but you're going to remember all the passing records. You're going to remember uh, all the wins that he accumulated. Look, you know this. You're older than I am. Remember when Johnny Unitas Barely. got benched? In his final year in the NFL, was it? Remember yes, when Joe Namath got benched? Of course. In the final year, like benched, like Joe you're Montana, not, you're not good enough to play Joe anymore. Joe Montana was going to go to the bench in favor of Steve Young, right? Well, you he know, went on. To, that's why he moved on. The same way that that Peyton moved on. The same sure. way that Brett Favre moved on. Right. It's not always a picture perfect ending, and it hasn't been with Peyton. No, Manning. but I think. The, but I will say, compared to some of those past guys, he still has a chance to be have a better ending than most because this is still a team. That could be a playoff team and a threat in the playoffs if he can get back healthy. All right. I don't think there's any doubt about that. That would be very much uphill. They've opened our eyes when he was healthy and he played at his best. Uh, but we'll find out whether he returns at all, if he's healthy enough to come back in the next few weeks. One, one last thing, and that is those who look at the Jacksonville win the other day, Sunday at Baltimore, 
and and pound their fists on the table going, Jacksonville should have been called for a line movement, false start, runoff of 10 seconds, the game should be over. Are you kidding me? Are you flat out kidding me? The, the, the officials are trying to allow Jacksonville one last snap so they're getting out of the way. It doesn't interfere, honest to God, that Luke Jokel wasn't set 100%. Is, is not the reason that Jacksonville ended up winning the game. That you want to fine tooth by going frame by frame after the game is over a day and go, wow, that cost Baltimore the game. No, it didn't. Elvis Dummerville cost him the game by grabbing Blake Bortles by the face mask at midfield as time it, it, it went up to zero. He s- 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 stuttered. Okay? That's ridiculous. Get over it. Shame on you, man. Shame on you. A penalty is a penalty. They, they didn't they, see it. I know. I'm just saying it, it's okay that the officials blew the call. Oh, and cut me a break. No, they did. They cut did. Me a break. How can you say they did it? They have admitted did you see they it? made a mistake. Honestly, did you see it, it when it happened? Matter is it if, one of those eye moments where you go, hey, whoa, I'm going to overlook that one? No, the batting of the football Jerry, in pe- the end zone penalty, is overlooked. And you know what? A penalty is a penalty. They didn't see it. A penalty is still a penalty. They didn't I see did it. it. I'm not protesting the final call of the game. I'm just saying it's a penalty for you to proclaim it doesn't matter. Did it you, doesn't. Did you say this when Detroit and Seattle had their ending? I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember. Oh, I would think you'd be upset that from, what, because the officials me. didn't see the ball getting batted out of the end zone. I said. That's why I batted that football right there. That one, So you were okay with that? No big deal. That one was obvious. This no, one, no, no. No, it wasn't because they didn't you call know, it. You know no, I'm right here. No. You I'll know you, he's I'll making you, this up I'll on tell the you fly. why it's not obvious because three quarters of the football galaxy didn't know it was a rule when it happened. So oh. it's not obvious at all. It's not even close to being obvious. What I said, it's obvious to a crew because it happened. They missed it, period. Right. It's the You're same right. thing. They missed the call. Please. Please. Elmas Shame Dollarville. on you. Shame on you. This is awful, Jerry. Cut this part out. Just don't air this part of it. Where's Shame on you. Though? This is embarrassing. Talking you knocked it over there. Three to seven Throw weekdays. Flag on you. Get a yellow flag. On uh, Sports Sharpie. Talk. 1080 the team, Orlando. <laughs> 